Now, before I tee off on the LA Times, a few things. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and click on the description below so that you can be put on our mailing list because we have been demonetized by YouTube for daring to question whether or not there should have been a lockdown on COVID, daring to question the 2020 election, and daring to call out Democrats who are election deniers about the 2016 election as well as other elections. So if you don't want to miss any of our videos, make sure you're on our mailing list. Also, because we've been demonetized, it would be helpful if you could throw a little something in the tip jar, hit that donate button, all right? And don't forget, you can always call the show, 888-971-7243, 888-971-SAGE, and leave a one minute long message and please, no profanity. As you know, I ran for governor, lost by 24 points. Now, the LA Times has a theory about why the great elders he lost. And here is what they said. And they've said this verbatim several times. So I guess all they do is cut and paste from another article and then slap it on. The article was all about a guy named Brian Dolly. Brian Dolly, D-A-H-L-E, is a Republican who's running against Gavin Newsom uh, come November. Brian Dolly did not uh, get involved in the recall election. There were 46 uh, recall replacement candidates, including moi. He was not one of them. And none of the major rivals, including me, decided to run again against Gavin Newsom in November because, frankly, I raised $22 million. Brian Dolly has raised $2 million. Uh, I got beat by 24 points. I had much higher name recognition than Mr. Dolly does. I never met him, but I understand he's a very nice guy. He's been in the uh, Senate as a Republican leader for some time, has virtually no name recognition, and as I mentioned, virtually no money and therefore virtually no chance. But he's a nice guy. And that's what the article was all about in the LA Times. Brian Dolly is a nice guy, as opposed to that dastardly Larry Elder. The, the, the LA Times said the, the race is very, very low key, not like that spectacle that was the recall election that drew 46 candidates, including conservative talk show host Larry Elder and reality TV star Caitlyn Jenner. Elder, a black Republican who has denied the existence of systemic anti-black racism, made derogatory remarks about women, and once called President Trump almost God sent emerged as the perfect foil for Newsom. Elder grabbed headlines, Dolly for the most part does not. All right, let's go over this. Elder, a black Republican, I'll give you that, that part is true, who has denied the existence of systemic anti-black racism. I deny the existence of systemic anti-black racism today not during slavery, not during Jim Crow, today. Now notice the LA Times did not say what I was denying. I'm denying that the police are engaging in systemic racism against black people. It's not true. We talked about this a million times. If anything, the police are more hesitant, more reluctant to use deadly force on a black person than a white person. The police kill more whites than they kill blacks. They kill more unarmed whites than they kill blacks. It is a lie. Not only is it a lie, it's causing people to get killed because cops are pulling back they're not engaging in proactive policing. They're not engaging in stop, question, and frisk. And in cities where there have been high-profile killings of blacks and where the police have pulled back, there's a guy whose name is Zach Kriegman. He was a data scientist for Thomson Reuters until he got fired for writing a paper talking about what I just did. He used to support Black Lives Matter and then found out in places where there were high-profile killings, whether it was Chicago or Baltimore or, or St. Louis, night, right outside Ferguson, the police pulled back and he documented thousands of what he called were excess deaths. Deaths that otherwise would not have occurred had the police been doing their normal proactive policing. That's what I deny. Now, where else? Is there systemic racism in the media? Are you kidding me? They're left wing. They lean over backwards to try and hire uh, people because of diversity, inclusion, equity. Is there systemic racism in the military? Are you kidding me? You look at the officers in the military and those in the lower ranks, you find a great deal of racial diversity. Is, it, is there systemic racism in academia? Are you kidding? Is there systemic racism in corporate America? Virtually every corporation has a, a, a part of the company that's uh, engaged in outreach or uh, whose responsibility is to make sure that they have a diversified workforce. So you tell me, LA Times, where today, now, is there systemic anti-black racism. What's this? I brought with me a MyPillow? I most certainly did. Now, 
Where's your my pillow? Perhaps that's why you're not in a cheerful mood like the great Eldersky is, even though I'm the black face of white supremacy. See the number on your screen. Go online, mypillow.com, promo code ELDER, and order your own pillow. They come in different shapes, different sizes. Also, don't forget, there are over 100 products. 100 products. Click the number on your screen, go to mypillow.com, use promo code ELDER, and look at the over 100 items sold by MyPillow, including these beautiful, beautiful house slippers. They not only come in different colors, I got beautiful tan as you see here, they also have different styles. My pillow slippers. And finally, I have in my baby brown libertarian fingers, the Giza Dream bed sheet. These sheets are absolutely amazing, made with the finest cotton in the world. Mike Lindell scoured the country. He didn't go door to door, but he asked some people and found out that a place in Egypt had the finest cotton in the world. He uses that to make his Giza dream bed sheets, and they come in different colors. This is a beautiful white, suitable for the black face of white supremacy, and they come in different sizes depending on, of course, the size of your bed. So MyPillow.com, promo code ELDER, or call the number on your screen. And finally, for the first half hour of our show, we give it to you for free. You pay nothing. Of course, if you feel good, bad about that, you can always throw something in the tip jar. There's a donate button. It goes on. Elder made derogatory remarks about women. Notice they don't tell you what I said. What did I say? What did I say? I'll tell you where they got this. I've been writing a weekly article since April of 1998. It is syndicated in 80 different outlets, websites, and newspapers. And in 2000, 22 years ago, I've written 1,200 articles, and somebody read every single one of them to try and find something that I said uh, that I can be discredited for. And I wrote an article called The She Issues, S-H-E. And that stands for Social Security, Health Care, and Education. And the article I wrote said that women care more about Social Security, Health Care, and Education than do men. And I mentioned that there were 25 questions about politics that were asked of men and women. Men knew more than women did uh, in 15. Uh, they knew the same in nine. And women knew more than men did in only one of the 25 questions. And then I quoted a left-wing professor at the University of Pennsylvania, the Annenberg School of Journalism. She's still there, again, left-wing professor. And she said the reason women knew less than men did on these political questions is that women watch more local news than men. Quote, and watching local news makes you dumber, close quote. I didn't say that. I quoted this woman who's still there, left-wing professor, University of Pennsylvania, Annenberg School of Journalism, or did I say that already? And I got accused of making derogatory comments about women. I said no such thing. I just said women care more about Social Security, health care, education than men do, and that in a list of 25 questions about politics, Men knew way more than women did, and then I gave that quote from that person. That's it. Have I ever said that women are less intelligent? No. In fact, I've written that the average IQ of a man is 100, the average IQ of a woman is 100. Have I said women are not qualified to hold public office? No. Did I say women are not qualified to be CEOs of corporations? No. Did I say women ought not be um, presidents of universities? No. The LA Times never says what Elder said that was, quote, derogatory remarks about women. And Elder once called President Donald Trump, quote, almost God sent, close quote. I did. I said almost God sent. But even if I had said God sent, what's the problem? All these pundits, including the New York Times, all said Hillary is going to win slam dunk on the day of the election, November. The New York Times had a poll that said Hillary is 85% likely to win the election. Most everybody thought that Hillary was going to beat Donald Trump. He had never run for office before. He had never held a, a position in government before. He was not a general. Never happened before. And he was dismissed as a joke, as a clown, as a caricature. There were over 50 newspapers who, that endorsed Hillary. There were only two in the whole country that endorsed Donald Trump. So he was supposed to lose. The fact that he won suggested to me that it was almost like divine intervention. And the reason for this 
is A, newspapers, reporters, by and large, are secular. Many of them are atheists. And so anybody that believes in God and would suggest that an event was inspired by God is to be ridiculed and maligned. And secondly, in California, the public figure, only one I can think of who's more hated and despised than Donald Trump is Charlie Manson, and he's dead. So, elder, uh, and, there, and, and he said, an elder emerged as the perfect foil for Newsom. Okay, meaning I'm the guy that Newsom was able to beat handily. I lost by 24 points. Guess how many points Brian Dolly, the man that they wrote about in a very kind way, is losing by right now. Right now, Gavin Newsom, 53% in the polls, and Brian Dolly, 23%. That's 30-point gap. And Brian Dolly won't even say whether or not he voted for Donald Trump. That's how toxic Donald Trump is, and that's how he's trying to avoid being connected with Donald Trump. Okay, so he's avoided being connected with Donald Trump. He hasn't said anything derogatory about women. He never said Donald Trump was God sent. And he's being crushed by a bigger margin than I am. So maybe, just maybe, the analysis LA Times might be a little off. Maybe you ought to talk about the way that Republicans are outnumbered three to one by non-Republicans in this state, by Democrats and by independents. And the fact that the LA Times and the Sacramento Bee, two of the most influential newspapers in California, both supported Gavin Newsom as, as his election and supported him in the recall, and both said that the recall was anti-democratic. So maybe if, uh, if there hadn't been a LA Times columnist who referred to Larry Elder as the black face of white supremacy, subheadline, you've been warned, I might have had a better chance. If you had treated me as well as you're treating Brian Dolly, maybe I might have had a better chance. So I reject the analysis that the LA Times has now said verbatim three or four times uh, that I know of since the campaign ended in September of 2021 as to why Elder lost. Explain to me why Brian Dolly is losing by a bigger margin. Explain to me why John Cox, who ran against Gavin Newsom the first time and got crushed by 24 points, didn't do nearly as well in the recall. I think he got uh, uh, maybe five or six percent, even though he spent millions of dollars of his own money. Explain, explain how that happened. How did Caitlyn Jenner get crushed? Was she making anti-woman comments? Did she say Donald Trump was almost God sent? And did she emerge as his perfect foil? Bottom line is no matter who would have run against Gavin Newsom, the newspapers would have trashed him as they did Brian Dolly. In fact, when Gavin Newsom had a virtual meeting with his supporters to strategize about how to beat Brian Dolly, he connected Brian Dolly to, to, to Donald Trump. And he said he was Trump-like or trump light or something. It doesn't matter. This is California, Jake. Hope you enjoyed that video. The full show is available to watch right now on Epoch TV. Just click the link in the description below to learn more because we've got a country to save.